Hey ya folks, how's it going? Today I am reviewing a game that was sent to me that is currently on Kickstarter. I'm really excited to tell you all about this game and why I personally think you should back it. I also want to say a big thank you to Steve D from Tin Star Games for sending me a copy. Not only has Steve sent me games to review in the past before, but I've been given a lot of opportunities to run games at conventions. In fact, last year I got to run a version of this game at PAX Australia, and soon I will be running this game at Conquest down in Melbourne. This game is all about heists, so if you're a fan of Ocean's Eleven or the classic movie The Italian Job, I hope you'll stay tuned. This is The Score. As I mentioned, this game is all about heists. You go through the stages of meeting your crew and then executing a heist. The score has you randomly generate what you and your crew are heisting from a spread of cards. On the top of the cards in the spread, they at the top of the cards in the spread will be suggestions for what you might be heisting, and at the bottom of the cards, a potential location for you to steal the item from. To learn what skills you bring to your heist team, a spread of 12 cards is dealt out to every single player. You write down what these talents are on a mini character sheet, and then you hand the cards back into the middle of the table. From this, you might be inspired as to how to name your character, and you also get a space to sketch what your character might look like. Then, once all the cards are handed back, you get to set up what happens in the heist. Everyone's talents are returned to the deck and shuffled. Then four cards are placed aside. These cards are not to be looked at. There are more cards in the deck than talents to give out, so you won't know exactly which cards are going to be set aside. Then, once your deck is shuffled, you seed the deck. Different cards labelled from Act 1 to Act 5 are placed at certain points in the deck. For example, one act might go four cards after the previous act. The number of cards between acts gets fewer the closer to the end of the game you are. So with that set up, you are ready to play. Now you're ready to jump into the action. All you have to do now to play this game is to reveal the cards from the deck in the order that they arrived in. Act 1 is known as According to Plan. In this act, a set of talents will be revealed one by one. The player that has those talents then gets to go in and describe how their character uses that particular talent to advance the goals of the heist. If you need to get into a building, having a demolition card appear might mean that your demolition expert blows the doors off. If a talent is revealed that no player has in this stage, then the player with the least talents or has spoken the least gets to have that talent. Then that player gets to describe and roleplay how their character uses that talent to help the heist along. In Act 2, things go off the rails. In this stage, when talents are revealed, rather than these talents helping the players, they have gone awry or been worked against them. For example, if you have a stealth expert on your team, their talent of being stealthy and slipping by is going to go badly in some way. Perhaps they have installed heat detecting monitors so even being sneaky doesn't help. If a talent is revealed that no one has, in this stage it means that the people you are trying to heist from have that talent instead. Act 3, everything goes according to plan again, and then Act 4 is off the rails again. The final act, Act 5, is a sort of synthesis of the previous formats of the acts. If it's a talent that the players have, it's working for them. If the players draw a card that is a talent that no one at the table has, it belongs to your enemy. There is an important twist though. The player that draws the final card gets to decide the ultimate fate of the heist. If the card that is drawn has a talent that a player at the table has, that means they have all get away and they get the loot. However, if by chance the last card is a talent that no one at 
that the table has. The player that drew and placed that card has an important decision to make. There's only two possible fates. Either their character gets to take the score and leave the rest of their crew behind, or they get their crew out and they have to leave the score behind. The mechanics of this game mean you do not know the fate of this particular adventure until the final card is drawn. Hopefully you can tell from how I've described these mechanics, but I had a blast when I got to learn and play this game. This game really does feel like a heist movie. The twists and turns come at any possible time and you could never pick what's going to happen until the very end. Literally, this game takes max 20 minutes to play. I don't know if I currently have a record, but I think this might be the shortest tabletop role-playing game I've reviewed ever. This game is a tabletop game that is also masquerading as a simple card game. This would be a great one to bring out at a board game night to introduce some of your friends to tabletop role-playing games. It's a really casual and fun feeling game. You might not see the characters from one heist to another, but this is a great little game to bring out for a session. Also, the basic rules of this game fit on a single double-sided sheet of A4 paper. Perhaps as you're watching it, you are wondering who this game is for. I think it's a great game for veteran tabletop role players to try out and have some fun with. I also think this is a great game to show people what tabletop role-playing games can be like. The rules are pretty easy to grasp and it doesn't require players to do a lot of mathematics or necessarily think of a lot of things at the table. The score is crowdfunding at this very moment on Kickstarter. I'm going to pop a link in the description for the Kickstarter and I encourage you all to at least check it out. I certainly think this is a fun little game that is very worth getting your hands on. I want to say a big thank you to Steve for sending me a preview copy of this game. I also want to say thank you to Steve in general for giving me opportunities to run games at conventions like The Score. I really love introducing people to games and tabletop role-playing games in particular. My personal feelings of gratitude aside, I think this is a really fun little game that a lot of people can jump in and play with little experience and little commitment. But what do you all think? Do you have a favourite heist movie? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I encourage you all down there to like, subscribe, maybe share with a friend, turn on notifications. I also have a coffee page where you can donate to this channel or just see what I am currently working on. I hope you will all check out the score on Kickstarter. I hope you're all well and I'll see you next time at the gaming table. Bye! <laughs>